What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mike Check Podcast. This is T-Word, the People's Champ. Thanks for tapping in. Today, we're going to talk about the upcoming fight this weekend. We've got Joe Joyce taking on Jili Zhang, as well as Michaela Mayer returning to the ring against Christina Leonardo too. Before we get into the matchup, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We do appreciate your feedback. All right, so without further delay, let's get right into it. You've got two heavyweight fighters, Joe, the juggernaut, the big juggernaut, Joyce, against Big Bang, Jali Jang. Now, this has Joyce coming in at 15-0 and with 14 knockouts, and Zhang coming in at 24-1 and and 1 with 19 knockouts. This is going to be happening in London, and you can expect fireworks between these two Big Bang and heavyweights. These guys put a lot of people on the canvas. So you can expect at least one of them to taste the mat on Saturday. Now, this is going to be an ESPN Plus card that's going to start at 1 p.m. So middle of the day, if you're looking for something to do, pop on the ESPN Plus and check out some boxing. Also to appear on the card is going to be Michaela Mayer and her return since her defeat against Alicia Baumgartner. Um, she's going to be facing Christina Leonardo too, who actually has a win. The only person to beat Alicia Baumgartner as a pro. So this is going to be a matchup of two former foes of the undisputed champion at the lightweight division. And you can expect some really good boxing. I think Mayer has refocused herself. She's gotten over the loss and now she's ready to move forward and um, make her quest back to becoming a champion. She's been very vocal about getting her rematch with Alicia Baumgartner, but AB had other things and bigger fish to fry, including seeking undisputed by fighting just a few months ago. Now, all of that under the table, you start to look at this particular matchup and what would happen next. If Michaela Mayer is to win, more than likely she's going to have earned that rematch against Alicia Baumgartner. If Leonardo too is to win, then she's going to be in line to get the fight. In fact, Baumgartner said as much. If you take care of the quote unquote poodle, which is what she's been calling Michaela Mayer, then she's going to go ahead and give Leonardo to a look. As of right now, Baumgartner doesn't have a fight. So there is some potential here. Now, my biggest thing with this particular fight is that I'm looking to see just how confident Mayer is in her ability that she had before she went into the Baumgartner fight. And is she going to try to change her style? Is she going to feel like things went so wrong she needs to change completely? Or is she going to trust the process and believe that she had the right formula just on that particular day she wasn't the better fighter? And in most cases, she feels like she should. Again, she went into that fight undefeated. And a lot of times, suffering your first loss after you've had an undefeated run can be very hard to come over. It's almost better if you were to lose early on and then you don't have the pressure of the O wing on your shoulders and you can go out there and be loose. So that's probably the most interesting thing about this fight card to me. I want to see what Michaela Mayer is going to do in the ring. Um, other fights on the card, you've got Denzel Bentley against Kieran Smith. That's a 12 round. It's for the British middleweight title um and bentley is the champ so looking to defend the title there also on the card something that jumps out at me not familiar with this fighter but the name jumps out sunny liston ali is going to face richard helm in the sixth round junior welterweight fight when you see sunny liston and then you also see ali all in one person's name you've got to take notice right so if anything i'm particularly interested in just seeing what the fighter looks like you know when they get in the ring go toe to toe maybe really good maybe hot garbage we're not sure but i'm gonna definitely take a look at that particular fight besides the mayor and the joyce zhang fights okay so hopefully you guys will be tuning in as well and we can talk about it later but this has been t for the mike check podcast until the next time i'm out